And we'd like to welcome viewers to ITV who have just joined us here at Ferry House for the Irish Grand National of 1979. We tell you that Modesty for Bids is a non-runner and also that Secret Progress is a non-runner and here is a show of the betting. 13 to 2, Tide Cottage, who's gone favourite now. 7 to 1, Tar Thistle and Chin Roller. 9 to 1, Sub Rosa. 10 to 1, Brown Lad. 12 to 1, Bally Cross. 12 to 1, Paul's Turn. 12 to 1, The Vintner. 12 to 1, Prince Rock. 14 to 1, Mr. Batnack and the others. And there is Brown Lad, number one, just turning away from us there. And going towards the left, Ted Walsh riding him. Ted, who rode him, first time he ever ran on a race course in Dundalk, and rode him his first winner up and down Royal soon after. They're coming round now into a line. Very shortly, they will be on their way. The Vintner out on the outside. They're coming up now, three and a half miles to go, 22 fences to jump on the rough, and Tide Cottage has gone off, as expected, into the lead. Tide Cottage gone into the lead, Prince Rock is second, Credit Card is third, Tar Thistle the Vintner, and Del Moss comes next. Now they're coming to the first of the 22 fences, and that's Tide Cottage in front. Over all right, Prince Rock is second, Credit Card, they're all streaming over, and no, and Bally Cross is nearly gone. Very nearly gone. Frank Berry just holds on at the end of the field, but he's all right. Now going to the next fence, and it's Tide Cottage who's the leader. Tide Cottage clear of Credit Card. Credit Card with Prince Rock along the inside. Then the Vintner, Del Moss, Tar Thistle, Paul's turn. Mr. Batnack comes next, and then Smiling Jim and Brown Lad and Sub Rosa together. And the leader now, who's cutting up quite a good lead, not a tearaway lead, goes over that fence while the others just come to it now. The leader is Tide Cottage, going across to the fence at the very top of the course. Tide Cottage, the clear leader, in second place, Credit Card. In third place is Prince Rock, then Del Moss. And here comes the leader now to the fence at the top of the track. And Tide Cottage is over in front. In second place now is Del Moss, then Credit Card, who's followed by the Vintner and Prince Rock. After Prince Rock along the inside is Tar Thistle. Paul's turn just behind these and Mr. Batnack with them. After this smiling Jim and Brown Lad and Sub Rosa. Now they're sweeping down the hill and the leader has now gone into a lead of about 20 lengths. Tight Cottage well clear now as he comes to the next fence and he's over that and the rest are all standing. The rest being headed by Credit Card and Del Moss who are together, then the Vintner and alongside the Vintner is Mr. Batnack and Prince Rock. There's a good race going on between these ones, but way up in front is Tide Cottage, the horse who led to the last in the Cheltenham Gold Cup. And he's way out in front, about 25 lengths in front. Tide Cottage clear, in second place is Delmos, credit card is third, and then the Vintner, Prince Rock is next, and then Mr. Batnack, then Tar Thistle, these the, leader, the leaders of the second group. And, and, and Tide Cottage has gone so far in front that it is almost funny. He is, well, what, he, he's 25 legs or more in front. Tide Cottage with Tony Robinson enjoying himself out there in front. Credit Card is second, Delmos is third. The Vintner is in fourth, and after that is Prince Rock and Mr. Batnack together. Tar Thistle is next, then Paul's turn, after that uh, comes Sir Courtney, after Sir Courtney Brown Lad, and then Sub Rosa. Now, the leader is taking the fence before the turn into the straight, that's Tide Cottage, and he's turning into the straight. The others haven't come to it yet. Here they're at it now, and it is credit card on the inside, Del Moss on the outside. Just behind these is the Vintner, and then a smiling Jim right up at them too and now they turn into the straight and that's Tide Cottage up in front. Here he is over the fence that will be the second last the next time and here comes the pack. They are in pursuit with Credit Card second, Del Moss third, the Vintner is fourth and after these is Mr. Batnack and also Prince Rock, Smiling Jim there on the outside, Tar Thistle and Brown Lad into the middle of the group there too with Sub Rosa and now they come to the 
uh, stands with Tide Cottage way out, a good 25 lengths or more in front. Can he stay out there in front? Well, here he goes past the stands. Tide Cottage, and he looks as if he's taking a breeder. The rest of them, well, they're coming along. Credit Card, Smiling Jim, then Delmas, the Vintner, Prince Rock, Paul's Turn, Great Dane, Mr. Badnack, Chin Roller, Brown Lad, Sir Courtney, Tar Thistle, then Sub Rosa, Sand Pit, Gowland, then Desert Bloom, some joke, then back to Brendan's Road and Valley Cross is last of all, and there he goes. Up the hill now, the lead has been reduced. Whether it's been reduced by the opposition or by the rider of the one in front, we'll know in just a moment because Tide Cottage is the leader by about 10 lengths. They've got a lot closer to him, but whether he's been taking a breather or not, we'll know when they get up there to the very top of the track with eight fences to go. It's Tide Cottage going to the next fence, which is the 10th from home. Credit Card is in second, Delmos is third. Great Dane has moved up along the inside. The Vintner and Smiling Jim well there on the outside with Prince Rock. Chin Roller just in behind them. And Brown Lad in touch too, just behind Paul's turn and Mr. Batnack. And that's the leading group as they go up the hill now. This is the ninth fence from home. Tide Cottage, still the leader but only just, and now as they turn across the top of the course, Credit Card has gone up to join them, and it's Tide Cottage in the lead, and here he turns now to the eighth fence from home. Tide Cottage in front, Credit Card is next. Delmas, in fact, has gone into second place. There's a battle for the second, but Credit Card and Delmas. Tide Cottage over this, and now let's see, does he try and slip them coming down the hill? Was he taking a breather, or were the others closing on him? Well, it's Tide Cottage in front, in second place, Credit Card. Prince Rock is third, in fourth is Delmas. Great Dane is in fifth, and after that comes Tart Thistle, and also there, uh, Great Dane, as I say, has dropped back a little bit, making a mistake there, and Smiling Jim is right up at the leaders. Now, as they begin to turn down the hill now, with uh, five fences to jump, it's Tide Cottage, still the leader, Prince Rock is in pursuit, and after him comes Mr. Batnack, and it is Tide Cottage being challenged now by the two English visitors, Prince Rock and Mr. Batnack. Delmas comes next. After that, Great Dane and Smiling Jim and Credit Card, who's dropped back a bit. But Tide Cottage is up in front now, and still in front of Prince Rock, who is staying on and staying after him there in second place. In third place is Mr. Batnack, who's beginning to lose touch a little bit with the first two. Delmas is next, and now, Prince Rock going up to challenge the leader. Tide Rock, the Tide, Tide Cottage in the lead with five furlongs to go. Tide Cottage in the lead, four fences to go. Tide Cottage over, Prince Rock is second. Mr. Batnack coming back into it again is still third. And now it's a battle. Will these horses outstay the opposition, which I think they will, but which will outstay which? Coming now to the third last fence, and it's Tide Cottage on the inside. On the outside, it's Prince Rock. And they come over it, and Tide Cottage is over in front. Prince Rock is next. Mr. Batnack is in third. And these three are clear of the rest of the field. And now they turn into the straight with two fences to jump. Tide Cottage still holding the lead. And the challenge from England of Prince Rock under pressure with Tommy Carmody along the right as they come now to the second last. And Tony Robinson on the left with Tide Cottage. They're over together. Prince Rock fractionally in the lead now I would say they're both under pressure here they come now to the final fence and it's Prince Rock on the near side for the first time since 1929 it could be an English train victory but Tide Cottage isn't done yet here they come to the last Prince Rock is over Tide Cottage is over alongside him and they battle on and Tide Cottage comes on now Tide Cottage has taken the lead and it's Tide Cottage coming down and Tony Robinson pushing out for all his worth, and back comes Prince Rock again with a hundred yards to go. Ty Cottage holding on, holding on. He has held on. Ty Cottage is won in second place is Prince Rock. Credit card is third in fourth place, Mr. Batnack. Then Smiling Jim, Paul's turn, Great Dane, Desert Bloom and Brendan's Road together, the Vintner. After that comes a sand pit, then Brown Lad, who just wasn't at the races, and these are the ones that have finished. Well, it looked odds on to me, 
uh, that Prince Rock was going to win it as they came to the last, put full marks to Tony Robinson. Okay, he may not have had the style of a Martin Maloney from the last fence home, but he got his horse going again and took up the running after the last and went on to win a most creditable victory indeed. An owner who a year ago was a very, very sick man has come back now to win the Irish National on his own horse, Tide Cottage, and compensate for that fall in the Cheltenham Gold Cup. Tide Cottage, 13 to two. Well now, let's have a look at it again and see that exciting finish when it looked as if uh, Prince Rock was going to win it. And it's uh, Prince Rock nearest camera, Tide Courage over on the far side. And there was nothing between them over that fence. Tide Courage perhaps nodded a little on landing. And Tommy Carmody pushed out uh, Prince Rock and really took what looked to be a winning lead as they came into the final fence. But Tony Robinson was not done with yet, as we shall see. And watch the two horses come to this fence. They rise to it. It didn't look a very tidy jump on the part of Prince Rock. Let's have another look at it as he rises to it. A couple of strides still to go. And he lands. And not the tidiest of jumps on the part of Prince Rock there. And Tony Robinson is quick to seize the advantage on the far side. He's regained a narrow lead here. Tommy Carmody, who has been driving uh, Prince Ca Rock uh, over the final four fences, is still driving away. But uh, although this horse stays and stays, he hasn't got the speed of Tide Courage. A horse who was a high-class hurdler on before going to chasing. And it's Tide Cottage on the far side and Tony Robinson, the first owner-ridden uh, horse to win the Irish Grand National for uh, the best part of 50 years. And indeed, it's 100 years since the first owner-ridden horse ever won this race, uh, Jupiter Tonins. And Tony Robinson going on to make centennial history here at Fairy House, riding his own horse, Tide Cottage, to a game decisive and thoroughly deserved victory over English challenger Prince Rock with a credit card well back in third place.